Good day fellow investors, welcome to Investing Monday Motivation. Something that I want to discuss today that many fail to grasp is that investing in businesses is a positive sum game. Putting money in cryptocurrencies, for example, is a negative sum game. And I prefer to invest in positive sum games. And let me explain you what it is and you will be motivated to invest and look for such investments over your lifetime. So if you own stocks, you own a piece of a company, you own a piece of the economy, you own a piece of human growth and look at the gross domestic product for the world over the last 50 years. It was 2.5 trillion, now it is above 70 trillion. So huge growth over the past 50 years and if you own stocks, businesses, then you own part of that. It could grow again 25, 30 times over the next 50 years. And that's the positive sum game. If human development continues, if human growth continues, you own a part of that. And that's the great feeling. Similarly, stocks go up, inflation, dividends, businesses, they work for profit. As said, positive sum game, economic growth. Look at the SAP 500 earnings. They were around four, five, around 10 back in the 1800s, a little bit higher, 15, and now they are at 111. This is inflation adjusted. So even earnings of businesses grow. That's another positive sum thing. Their businesses, their earnings grow, which means that the value of those businesses also grows. And that's a tailwind you want to have working for you. If we look then at stocks, earnings growth, economic growth, business growth, everything growth, the S&P 500 was at 10, yes, 10 points in, 99, in 1933. And now it is at 2,800 points. So stocks over the long term, yes, go up. That's why there it, it is a positive sum game. On the negative sum game, cryptocurrencies, for example, are a negative sum game because with every transaction, there is a cost. Somebody is skimming off people on transactions, on sales. So everybody loses there except for the brokerages. And the Bitcoin price, it's just a speculation. Nothing is created, no value there. Just speculation on up and down prices. So you don't really have a tailwind, you have a headwind, headwind, which is called commission and fees. So I'm going to leave you with three things to keep in mind when investing in stocks. It's a positive sum game, but you have to stay in the game until it brings you there where you want to go. Look at the stock market over that huge growth from the 1930s. From 1929, it took 24 years to come to the same level. From 1933, again, 15 years to come to the same level with huge ups and downs. From 1969 till 1982, 15 years. From 1999, again, 14 years to come to the same level. So you can't expect it to go up every day, but over the lifetime, it will go up. So I'm going to leave you with five things to keep in mind when investing in stocks. Don't invest the money that you might need in the next decade because of this, because stock Stocks don't always go up. You're playing against yourself if you invest for less than a decade. Number three, step back when you invest, take time, think, okay, I have a whole life cycle ahead of me and really, okay, find the investments that best suit you. If you're happy with a 5% yield, that will slowly grow every year due to inflation, due to whatever, buy that apartment next to your house rent it out, get the 4%, that will be 6, that will be 8 over 10, 20 years, and you'll have a great investment and you have peace of mind. So always think what fits you and try to use the common sense. Don't chase, I don't know, cryptocurrencies or something like that. Think long term. This makes investing so much easy. Yes, stocks go up, media is focused on what Trump is tweeting or something like that, but earnings, investors also focused on the next quarters. Just think how the world will look like in 10, 20 years and invest in that. This what makes things so much easier. And number five, apply always a margin of safety. Okay, how will the work look like in 10, 20 years? 
What if it doesn't? I don't want to lose anything. If it does, I want to make it big. So try to apply common sense. It is a positive sum game. If you don't do stupid things, you can't lose. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments. And I'll see you in the next video.